Ciao Bella! Welcome back. Today we're gonna install the Terminoni exhaust on the Honda Monkey. Uh, in the previous video was the What's on the Bench episode where we went over the exhaust and talked about it and got a little deep into the history of the company because it's not something I was familiar with so I, I found it pretty interesting. If you want to check that video out go back one step in my videos uh, on, on the uploads list or uh, I can just link it up here for you. So today it's uh, pretty cut and dry. I've done an exhaust on this bike several times by now as you might know if you follow along with these videos in the build. So uh, we're basically just gonna show you the components of the kit, uh, unpack them all, get them ready, get them queued up, and then we'll do a short little montage of the exhaust going on the bike. And then of course we'll start it up here in the shop, first start up, and uh, get a little bit of a listen to how it sounds here in this closed room environment and then for the next video which is the one that you're going to want to see is the ultimate sound tests of uh, the system out in the wild so we're going to definitely do it on the street we're going to do helmet cam vlog sort of sound test how it sounds in the helmet and then of course we're going to take it to the moto track the mini moto track our pit bike track over down at Lars's where uh, we can really shake it out and listen to how this thing screams. So with that, let's check out the system, what's uh, included in the bags and the parts and stuff, and then we're gonna get it on the bike. Okay, so uh, getting all the parts out, obviously it comes with some assembly instructions. Most of it's in Italian first, and then, uh, this is, I don't know, it looks kinda like the instructions for the slip-on kit that they have. Um, but, you know, maybe they just didn't do it for the full kit, I don't know. So. Uh, we unpacked everything and this packing list uh, includes the clamp, the three clips, the bolts, the spacers, the washers, the rubber mount, spring, little spring cover. All that stuff is listed right here so everything looks in order there. And then we have this kit here which is the spring puller. Looks like the uh, exhaust um, gasket that goes down in there into the cylinder head. And then we have a exhaust bung plug because this pipe comes with the bung that you can install the external oxygen sensor in if you uh, have a tuning set up like uh, I guess um, an A racer or something like that that uses an oxygen sensor wideband sensor to read the air fuel ratio and tune so with that looks like everything's in order uh, let's go ahead and get it on the bike
So the install was really straightforward. No different than any other exhaust that I've put on, except for everything kind of fit really good. Fit, it fit up good. The mounts are connected to the uh, silencer. There's no external um, bracketry. It's all kind of right there, self-contained. And that made it pretty simple to install. Obviously, I put the silencer on loose. Then I fit the collector pipe, fit it to the header loose, get everything lined up, make sure it's um, together and straight. Then I tighten the collector on the, on the head first and then pull the whole system tight based on that. The spring connector pulled the silencer tight with the collector pipe and then I tightened up the silencer bolts. There's only two. And the hardest part of the whole job really was the uh, factory heat shield because you have to transfer the rubber mounts over from the OEM one and lining all that up on there is a little difficult, so um, I can't imagine how Terminoni uh, figured out the mounts, the slip mounts for those things. It's got to be really hard to try to line up and be perfect for every bike. So you might have to fiddle with it. I fiddled with it for probably about 10 minutes and used some oil on the little rubber inserts to help the heat shield slide on better. And one of my rubber inserts was kind of cracked. That's how it was after I took it off the OEM pipe so that didn't make it easier so you reuse the factory exhaust crush washer which is going to be up inside the head anyways and unless it's damaged or old or beat up you really can reuse it just fine so besides that the only other things i can advise are to have your wide array of metric allen keys because that's what you use for the install and there's a really big allen key that's needed for the exhaust plug bung so that's not something that everybody has commonly in their toolbox. I don't know what size it is. It's probably like M10 or something, but whatever size it is, it's pretty big. So I figured out a way around it and I'm going to run down to our race car shop and get the bigger size that I need and give it a final tighten. So other than that, let's start this thing up. Let's see how it sounds. You ready? I'm ready as always. Okay, so this thing's got a little bit of pipe to it. it it's louder than I thought it would be. Uh, it, it's got some, uh, it's got some brap in there. So we're gonna go take it for a ride, and this video is gonna lead into the next video, which is the ultimate sound test video with this exhaust. So I'm gonna go uh, give it a shakedown ride, get the exhaust flowing through it, and um, we're gonna see how it sounds out in the field. So so far, so good in the shop. It's got, a, it's got a bit of a snarl to it. I, I kind of like it. It's, it's loud and um, it's, uh, it's, it might have a little bit more scream to it than the Yoshimura system that I'm used to because the pipe's a little bit smaller going through the uh, silencer. So that's going to be an interesting change up and should definitely sound a little bit different. So hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Um, like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, let me know why doesn't help to tell me why you didn't like something um, to help me improve. So um, with that, uh, happy to do another exhaust install and uh, another product feature video with the what's on the bench previous to this. So if you like this exhaust, thanks to Brock's performance, we can get this exhaust to you at a discount from uh, liking this video and, and seeing it here. That information is going to be in the description below. So with that, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to go ride. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.